Mr. Beast's crew plays a crucial role in his video productions, but sometimes team members vanish without a trace. Some have left after disagreements or due to personal decisions, while others were let go under less favorable circumstances. Today, we dive into the tales of seven former collaborators who were cut out from the team. From dramatic exits to quiet departures, let's see the real reasons behind why these members are no longer part of Mr. Beast's adventures. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go! Jake the Viking was one of the main guys in the early Mr. Beast saga. Stealing the spotlight in thrill-packed challenges like Last to Leave Roller Coaster wins $20,000, and Last to Fall wins $1 million. Fans loved his vibrant energy and gutsy competitive streak, but despite his on-screen success, Jake's journey with the Mr. Beast crew hit a snag. Not due to lackluster performances, but because he felt sidelined, missing from new video invites. On April 6, 2020, Jake took to his own channel to spill the beans in a video titled The Reason I Left. He revealed he was still on the payroll, chilling at home, yet something fell off. He was itching for more and for growth beyond just extreme challenges. Jake shared, It's cool to sit at home and get paid, but you start to wonder what's really going on when no one gives you a straight answer. His departure marked the end of an era. Jake was a key player in growing the channel from 4 million to over 30 million subscribers. His exit was a mix of nostalgia and newfound freedom to explore his own path. Turner, the guy who was behind some of Mr. Beast's sickest edits, totally shook things up when he blasted out some heavy claims about the workspace vibe. Editing under pressure, Turner dropped bombshells on Twitter, saying Mr. Beast made the editing sweet a nightmare zone. He talked all about how even the tiniest slip-ups got him slammed, leaving him wrecked and tearing up. When he took those beefs to Drama Alert, it blew up the whole scene, starting a huge debate on what's really going down behind the YouTube glam. Some of the crew jumped in, defending Mr. Beast, saying, yeah, the pace is insane, but it's all fair game. Meanwhile, others were eyeing Turner's side of the story wondering if the drive to crank out viral hits was pushing the team too hard. This clash tossed up big questions about the real cost of running a mega-successful YouTube empire like Mr. Beast's, where the line is between pushing for perfection and pushing people too far. Turner's exit was more than just a quiet step back. It flung open the curtains to the intense, often hidden struggles of those creating the blockbuster videos. Marcus, once a crowd-pleaser on Mr. Beast's crew, hit a rough patch that got him booted off the team. It all spiraled down when he got tangled up with illegal substances, a definite no-go in the Mr. Beast camp. But the plot thickened when Marcus took his frustrations to Instagram, unleashing a tirade against Mr. Beast himself. The video was raw and filled with some really sharp words aimed at Mr. Beast, shocking fans and stirring the pot big time. This wasn't just your everyday team shuffle. Marcus was a key player, loved for his dynamic presence in earlier challenge videos. His exit flung open a can of worms on how things are run behind the scenes. Fans were torn. Some couldn't wrap their heads around the idea that Mr. Beast would fire such a beloved figure, while others speculated that there had to be strict rules to keep the team tight and focused, especially with the scale at which they operate. Marcus's firing sent ripples through the Mr. Beast community, highlighting the tough realities of working in the high-octane world of top-tier YouTube content creation. Jake Weddle, another original face in Mr. Beast's crew, decided to walk away on his own terms to chase laughs and a career in comedy, marking a significant shift in his professional path. Unlike many dramatic exits, Jake's departure was self-initiated and focused on his aspiration to evolve beyond YouTube stunts and challenges. He had been a familiar presence in early Mr. Beast hits, like the $60,000 Extreme Hide and Seek in World's Largest Lego Tower, where his creativity and humor shone. In a candid video titled Why I Left Mr. Beast, Jake opened up about his decision, expressing gratitude for the incredible opportunities but highlighting the intense pressure and rigorous demands of the content creation cycle at Mr. Beast's channel. He emphasized the scale of work that went behind each project and gave a shout out to the unsung heroes of the team, the editors, the crew, the production staff who face relentless challenges daily. Jake explained his journey. From doing stand-up comedy and writing, I found myself stressing over bizarre scenarios like fitting an enormous amount of slime into tiny spaces or creating a 30-foot pizza. Reflecting on his growth, Jake added, When I started, the channel was at 14 million subs and it grew to 45 million. That's a huge audience to appeal to, and sometimes that meant compromising on the weird, creative stuff I wanted to do. His parting with Mr. Beast was good-natured, with both sides understanding each other's future directions. Me and Jimmy left on very good terms, Jake reassured, dismissing any notion of drama. Jake's exit didn't stir up controversy, but it did kickstart a discussion about the personal and professional growth that often leads team members to pursue different avenues. 
It shed light on the positive aspects of working in a high-energy environment, while also pointing out the immense dedication required to keep up with the pace of a top-tier content creator like Mr. Beast. Sneeko, once a camera guy and occasional on-screen contributor for Mr. Beast, chose to part ways with the channel to concentrate on his own starting YouTube career. Unlike some dramatic departures that stir up controversies, Sneeko's exit was relatively smooth and under his own steam. He recognized the unique opportunity Mr. Beast had given him, but felt the pull to develop his own voice and brand in the digital space. In his discussions post-departure, Sneeko revealed that working for Mr. Beast, initially a fan of his content, had significantly impacted his perspective on content creation and success. He reflected positively on the experience, crediting Mr. Beast with changing his outlook on life during a pivotal time. He spoke about how he started working for Mr. Beast when he wasn't active on YouTube and was juggling college life, which wasn't fulfilling him. His face-to-face -face interactions with Mr. Beast, who at the time was rapidly climbing the YouTube ranks, left a lasting impression. Sneeko admired Mr. Beast's ambition and the clear vision he had for his channel's future. Sneeko's exit story is one of mutual respect and personal growth, contrasting sharply with other more controversial exits. Chandler Hallow, a longtime fan favorite in the Mr. Beast crew, has recently become less visible in the lineup of regular video appearances. Known for his charismatic underdog persona in Mr. Beast challenge videos, Chandler's gradual retreat from the spot light has led to curiosity and concern among the fan base. His absence is particularly noticeable in the gaming videos and other main channel content where he once frequently featured. Chandler's situation stands out because unlike some of the more abrupt departures, his has been a slow transition away from the front lines. This shift has led to widespread speculation from viewers about potential reasons behind his reduced role. Discussions often center on whether this change is due to personal decisions or if it hints at internal shifts within the Mr. Beast team dynamics. Despite his reduced screen time, Chandler's popularity remains strong, with fans often reminiscing about his memorable moments and rooting for him in every challenge he participated in. His presence, or lack thereof, influences viewer engagement and sentiment towards the channel, highlighting his value as a core member of the team. As of now, there hasn't been a clear public explanation for Chandler's fading presence. This lack of information only fuels more speculation and discussion among the community, making his case a unique and intriguing point of interest in the narrative of Mr. Beast. Garrett's journey with Mr. Beast's team started with a bang, literally, as the crew cut his car in half as part of an audacious stunt that marked his entry into the YouTube spectacle. From that memorable initiation, Garrett transitioned into a semi-regular role appearing in various videos that range from crazy challenges to grand philanthropic gestures. His presence was noted for bringing both enthusiasm and teamwork, helping to execute some of Mr. Beast's most ambitious projects. However, by mid-2020, Garrett began to fade from the spotlight, his appearances decreasing as he shifted to assist with Mr. Beast's brother's channel, Mr. Bro. This transition coincided with a general slowdown in content production on the Mr. Bro channel, eventually leading to Garrett's complete disappearance from public view. The details surrounding his reduced participation were not publicly aired, leaving fans speculating about the reasons behind his sudden absence. According to responses Garrett has made on social media, he now assists with behind-the-scenes work, particularly focusing on social media aspects for the team. Furthermore, he's pursuing his education at the University of Alabama, which suggests a geographical and professional shift away from the direct media production roles he once held at Mr. Beast's side. Anyway, that's a wrap on seven people who were fired by Mr. Beast. For more videos like this, click on one of the two videos to keep watching, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.